hi and welcome to my channel this is kb we're saving 101 and i'm kb kim baker if this is your first time visiting my channel then welcome i'm a lifetime thrifter turned reseller i currently resell on poshmark makari tradesy i send boxes into thread up and whatever it takes to make this whole thing work um anyway today happens to be Thrift Talk Thursday. It is my favorite day of the week, and I enjoy showing you guys all the wonderful quality items that I have found for $1 at my local Goodwill that I will be reselling for profit on my selling platforms. I do like to break down my haul between what I personally am going to list in my closet and what I'll probably be sending into Thread Up. So we're going to dive in. And I'm going to tell you guys, I'm a little tired, so hopefully I'm perky and energetic and, you know, <laughs> my norm. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so, and this is, okay, let me see if I can push this down. There we go. Ah! All right, well, <laughs> what a way to start off the video. Here, my back towards you. Things falling. I don't edit, so... You get the real stuff, guys. All right. <laughs> Let's see. This is an Adidas, a size 8. Um, it has back pocket, back zipper entry. I wish I had zipped it up. Could look a little better. Um, skort. So I keep saying I need more casual and athletics within my closet. So, yes, I picked that up for a buck. Oh, how cute. It actually has little zippers for a slit right there. See, I didn't even see that before. Anyway, <clears throat> Ugh, next item off the floor. Here we go. This is an IZOD Golf size two skirt, and this one's super cute. So, and it does not have like the shorts, just like that one. Does not have like the short butt. You know, some of, some of your skirts got the short looking tushy, and some of them just have the full looking skirt. So, I like those. Uh, some here we go um, this might be in my closet and this might not um, we'll just have to wait and see I am already starting doing my Christmas shopping and um, this one doesn't have a size on it so it would make it easier if I didn't list it um, it is Audrey 3 plus 1 never heard of them and they are these super cool look at this so there's these flowy flary pants but also this whole thing is like could be a slit to expose i don't know stick your leg out to the side and show it all baby um anyway they're super cute my daughter loves wearing these gypsy um baggy pants kind of thing so um yeah that might end up being boxed up for christmas this one, I believe, is going to be the same thing. Another boxing for Christmas. These are Forever 21, new with tags, size 26. They are this high-waisted, um, really big um, baggy with a large belt. Uh, you can roll those up. Pair of jeans. So, yes, I'm going to utilize those as a Christmas present. Now, let's see if I can actually find things that I'm going to list in my closet. <laughs> now, the first two I am. All right, um, let's see. This is a BCBG generation, and it is new with tags. Um, I will be removing this sticker to get the um, price off of it. And um, it, they're size large, and it is a skirt. It is a velour, I don't know if you can see that, velour with pockets drawstring mini so yes i'm going to probably list that in my closet all right i just sold a shirt that was almost exactly like this so uh, this is one of the reasons why i picked up i love turquoise it is one of my favorite colors and this is a u w which i believe this is their new tag because it's as you wish um it is a nordstrom Oh, Nordstrom sells it, not a Nordstrom brand, but anyway, um, and it is just super cute. What size are you? Size eight, little swing dress. So yes, um, I think that'll do very well because that shirt, like I said, it's sold and 
I, I dress should too. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I love this one, guys. I really do. I, you know how I like funky. All right. So this is, look at this. This is a blazer. It's by Venus and it is a size 12. It is in this really pretty maroon color and it is like this long riding jacket, um, duster, uh, and I'm just, okay, let's, should I try it on? I, I don't know how it's going to look on me, but okay. Uh, it is so adorable. I love it for the style. So yes, I'm like, okay, I have to pick that up. So it's big on me. If you can see it, I mean, literally you could wear this with a pair of leggings because you know, it, it is going to fly open. Let's face that. Um, cause it doesn't have buttons down there. It's only one single button, but it is adorable. It could be worn over leggings for fall, beautiful maroon color with the black collar accent up here. Yeah. I can't wait to list this and I'm probably going to list this one. I don't know, 36 or 39 probably in my closet. If not, maybe higher. I don't know. I have to look up and see what Venus usually goes for. If you are new to my channel, I am going to tell you, guys, don't disappoint me. Be the comps you want to see. You know what? Anybody can sell stuff for $10. I'm not joking when I say that. If you want to do that kind of work, all the power to you. But please, I really wish you'd stop. Um, I actually utilize the ThreadUp app to even check out what I'm going to price point my items at. I'm not sitting there and looking at it, Poshmark going, oh, well, somebody decided to have a garage sale and I'm going to go ahead and do, follow theirs. No, no, come on, stop devaluing your items. So yeah, at least, probably higher, probably 50. <laughs> All right, enough lectures, enough lectures. Here we go. Um. This happens to be Additions by Chico, um, size two and a half. <clears throat> and I will list these in my closet uh, because it's Additions. If it was regular Chico's, I'd send it in to thread up, but um, I won't receive a huge payout when it's Additions. So those I will choose to list in my closet. Okay. Who are you? I think I have this haul divided up. If not, I'll just tell you as I go. I'm, tell, I'm just a little off today. Uh, Hudson. Oh, no, I think I'm sending these in. <laughs> Sorry, guys. These will be sent in to thread up. Um, they're a Hudson jean size. They could be listed in my closet, too. I know it would probably draw some traffic. Um, 26. But uh, most likely I'll get paid out more sending them in. So um, I'll do my research and see. But, yeah. Uh, it could go either way, but I know that if it's a high valued item, I usually get paid out more on thread up. If it is a low valued item, and I mean like, yeah, they're going to um, value it at like $13.99, then guess what? I can sell it on my platform and list it for 29, usually sell it for 25 and usually make about 20. Well, that's how I plan it. That's how I do it. And uh, there's times I take lower, but seriously guys, I don't wanna do, I don't work for free. All right, um, connected, size 14. And I don't know, are you silk? Might not, probably. Probably not, probably not. Um, connected, no, polyester. But I just thought, you know, I love polka dots, guys. I really think it's just so adorable. And it has like this um, lace accented waistband with this crisscross top. So nice and flowy. It's gorgeous. Um, so I'm actually going to list this one, I believe, because I don't think the connected was not valued very high. I just sent one in. So um, I think I'll get more on my personal selling sets. Um, this is beige by ECI, which is sold at Nordstrom. Um, it looks like it's brand new and it has like this textured um, sheer, see the sheer? In some areas it's fully lined and then other areas it's sheer. And you can see through like this bandaged mummy. I don't know. What else would you kind of call this? Long sleeve. Um, maybe a little bit of a fit and flare uh, kind of style dress. Anyway, um, I believe I'll be listing that in my Poshmark closet. That's where I need it. Um, I don't know. Lifestyle outdoor. Extra large. Um, little 
dress. And it is purple, and I'm sorry, it's turning out blue. It's purple. Okay, brought me back to my days. <laughs> Here I go, aging myself again. All right, um, this is by Contempo Designs, or C Contempo Casual, Casuals, da, 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 da. Um, and it is a size medium, and it is, and of course, I'm going to be using all those wonderful, I don't know, grunge, rocker, punk, um, but it's a cold shoulder with a little sleeve there. See how that, so it shows, and then it has that, and it shows. Um, also has a scoop in the front, and this um, crisscross cutout detailing in the back. Um, and it's like this little, what would you say this is a dress? I think it's a dress. So it's really super cute. Um, yes, also e-girl, e-girl, new word, e-girl. So I'm gonna list that in my closet. This is a Maurice size three. I just absolutely loved the um, color and it's you know little sleeveless tank with this uh, peekaboo back but lined so yes I'll list that all right this one I could not really I couldn't resist it just because of the print I don't know I like loud and bizarre things guys um let's see I have never heard of this in fact I can't even say this I don't know you guys uh, I'll let you read it I'm not gonna slaughter there you go. Can you you can read it? The size is a large, and I believe it's just polyester, aren't you? Uh, polyester spandex, yes. But it is this really super cute, um, just a little swing dress uh, with this sateen and a purple and pink. Uh, yeah, I thought it was adorable. So, uh, yep, in my closet it goes. <laughs> So I probably never want that thing. <laughs> All right. I am a little whippy. I told you. All right. Now this piece, um, I normally send most of my David's Bridal in to thread up, but this happens to be a two piece woman's ivory tuxedo and thread up will separate the two pieces. Not going to happen. I'm not sending it there. And I think this will fly off the shelf for any um, weddings that might be coming up. Uh, the You can see the lapel has this satin detail to it, um, just a single button style. Again, same detailing here, and the cuffs fold up with a French cuff, and same satin detailing there. The pants have satin all the way down the side so it is really super pretty it is a size 12 for the jacket and i think the pants might be a different size what size are you nope size 12. so it is a 12 a size 12 david's bridal suit um and yes i will be listing this in my poshmark closet and um, see how that goes uh probably at least a hundred dollars i would think all right now this is Laura Conrad LC, extra large, nice little sheer um, top. So I believe I'm listing this in my closet. Who are you? Do most of the stuff I get that I'm going to be sending in. I guess I sent, I, most of my stuff I'm gonna be sending in guys, which you know what? I should probably do anyway because I'm a little behind. <laughs> Just to be honest with you, hot mess always. Um, these are a blank NYC size 28. I have to look to see what they value them at, but um, they're just this like distressed pair of jeans. And I don't know who was talking about them, but I don't know. I think it was a blank YNC jacket though, or NYC um, jacket. But anyway, uh, the name stuck and I picked them up. <laughs> They're probably not worth anything. <laughs> okay, um, my Goodwill really does not um, have good reception. I don't know about you guys, but I swear to God, they are blocking us from actually being able to figure out the prices of things. Um, and so I spend a lot of time in there. I go through and I go through and I go through and I try to look up, but a lot of times there is absolutely no service in 
my goodwill. So there you go. Um, let's see. This is a Betsy Adam by Linda Burnett. And it is an eight tall, maybe. Maybe it's just an eight. I don't know. But I plan on sending this in. It is this gorgeous halter um, embroidered beaded. Oh, there's one little thing. I better fix that little bead thing. Um, beautiful black and white dress. So, um, yes, it is floor length. Uh, the flowers in the front go pretty much almost all the way down. And so I will be sending this in. All right, let's see, who are you? I know it's a Chico's. It's just Chico, no, I'm, I'm long, I'm, I lied, I lied. Lane Bryant, I'm gonna probably list these in my closet. They're a size 26, 28. Um, you know, I've always been concerned that I can't list the larger items. What I have been doing, I hate to sell this guys, but I actually will kind of fold so that when they're on my hanger, that they look decent because I don't have like super size hangers. I don't use mannequins. So I actually kind of fold them back and tuck them like that. And then I'll take the photographs and then I will actually lay them down on the floor and photograph the entire piece um, so that people can see. Um, and oh, I hate to say this, um, if I can find a model of them wearing it, I will kind of intermix. I know not you're not supposed to do that. And do you know what? You do what you gotta do. <laughs> Poshmark doesn't really get after you. The actual companies will get after you more than Poshmark will. Okay, um, this is a Vince Camuto size extra small, just this little sleeveless top. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and send that in. This is a Ella Moss size large, um, new with tags, and the tags says $138. So, yes, it just has like this little fringe detailing. I am going to be sending this in. And I am going to tell you guys, I, my last haul, I think it was the last haul that you watched right before this one, there was, what was the item called? I can't remember. Hold on. I have it over here. Because I about, um, it's R-O-C-H-A-S, Paris. Okay. Now, I thought about putting that stupid item back. You know what? I sent it in a thread up. I can mark it up to $1,100. So <laughs> just so you know, I do like um, utilizing my thread up app because if I find that it has a decent value, then I know I, I should definitely pick it up. And for some reason, I can get ThreadUp's app in Goodwill a little better than I can Google or Poshmark. Go figure that one. All right. Anyway, this is a Calvin Klein size medium. Um, I might just stick this in as a filler. I love the print. It's really super pretty. Probably I'll wait and go in a box that's not gonna be sent or expedited and it'll sit for a while until spring. Perfect timing, wouldn't it? Um, let's see, this is a Maggie London, size 14. They value her dresses um, fairly high. And this is just this little funky dress, um, layered, uh, tiered in this, I don't know, like a video game <laughs> maze print. How's that? A video game maze print. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Anyway, um, my girls actually liked it, um, which I was surprised because I thought they were going to tell me, what'd you put that up for? <laughs> I got to do a little fashion haul for my honey and I had three of my five girls sitting there. So it was actually a lot of fun. I know it was there four. I think there was four of my five girls. Yeah, it was fun. Anyway, um, let's see. This is, who are you? This is Hope and Harlow. It's a size 10. Um, they value, their dress is over $100, so I'm going to send this in. All right, now I always get these two mixed up. So this one might not be going in. Let's see, who is it? This is... And Ellen Tracy. Ellen Tracy, and what's the other one with an E? 
I get those two confused all the time, guys. And I'll pick it up thinking I'm going to send it in to thread up, and I'll be like, well, they really don't value that one very much. So then it ends up in my closet. So I can't remember. I can't remember. But it is this, it's really super cute. It is this camel skirt um, back slit. It is quite casual. Um, it's stretchy. So I think it should do well no matter what happens. Trendy, well, not trendy, but um, in season color. All right. This is, who are you? Dun, 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 dun. Max Studio size medium, elastic waistband, little skirt. It's almost like a little slip skirt. And it does have like this little black trim detailing to it. So it's really super light. I have sold Max Studio and got like a pair, I think, of 19. Uh, I'll say 15 and 19. So I'm sending that in. This happens to be a Tommy Hill figure. And it says jeans, size six. And I sent in a skirt very similar to this, except it was in pink and it was paisley. Um, I thought they were first off going to reject it, but they didn't. And second off, I thought, well, God, and it sold. And I got a payout of like 14 something. So where do you think this one's going? Into a thread up. This one is super cute. I had so many of my girls actually comment on it when I showed it that maybe I should hold on to it for Christmas. Um, it's uh, Exeteria. Is that how you say this? I don't know how to say that. And it's a size six. It is the super cute jean skirt. And it has the front zip up, double button, raw edge. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Um, it's really nice length. And but they do value their skirts. Um, like over 120 some odd dollars. So um, my plan was to send it in. Okay. And if you haven't watched, you know, like I said, I send in items hoping that I'm going to make more on their site. If for some reason I send it in and it's not valued very high, I pull them. I'll, I, I'm not afraid to pull them and have them come back to me. Um, so that I can list them. I've actually had items that have been rejected that I've listed and have sold within a week. So it's not, I'm utilizing this to make my business grow bigger and faster and sell more. Well, I'm only just one little ton of person. Anyway, <laughs> I move slower than you guys. I'm, I'll be honest. All right, this is what? A Banana Republic size 12 pair of shorts. And they're a dressy short, very cute. So um, they value Banana Republic really high. So I'm going to give a shot and send those in. This is, I'll say White House Black Market. I like finding them. White House Black Market, size eight. Um, yes, this cute little A-line. And it has like this little ruffle, well, not ruffle, but um, detailing down at the bottom, black and white floral print, fully lined. I will send this in. Uh, White House Black Market does get pulled for goodie bags, so I don't mind picking that up. It, it's not like I like their shirts. I get like nine dollars for. So, but you know, when you're paying the fees on it, it does go through and help pay for that. So, anyway, gonna keep moving, keep moving. Watch my thread up videos if you want more information. <laughs> All right, a pea and a pod maternity, um, and it's a size large. This is definitely a very um, trendy looking boho um, sheer skirt with all of this. Um, they've got some sequin detailing to it. So, yes, um, I think I'm going to give it a shot and send it in. We'll see. Um, personally, I don't care if it says maternity or not. I'd wear that darn thing. It's super cute. So I could always list it in my closet under multiple categories. Uh, all right, this is Laundry by Shelly Siegel. It is a size six and it is this like laser cutout. Look at that cute laser cutout, um, scalloped edged, faux suede looking skirt. So I'm sending that in because they value her nice and high. All right, now I've never heard of this brand. And there was quite a few actual pieces very similar to this um, there. So I picked one because it's new with tags. I thought I'd send it in, see how it does. 
I don't know. Um, could be a nice surprise, just like my last one. This, <laughs> um, it is, it's like a dress shirt is what I'm, um, uh, a shirt dress. That's right. There we go. Um, kind of style. It has tab sleeves. Um, it has some zipper detailing. It is a size extra large. So new with tags, like I said. So I'm going to go ahead and send this in, see what they value at it and go from there. If not, it'll be returned to me. And maybe I'll even Google that out some more because they don't take men's items, by the way, just so you know, they do not take men's items. All right, this is a Nippon Boutique. It is a 10 petite, but I just thought this stinking skirt was so adorable. It's in this beautiful purple. Sorry, the color's not picking up very nicely. And it's dipped in pink. It's got this little pink trim. Oh, look at that with this accordion pleat bottom. This is a tulip skirt. Oh, it's just so adorable. No, it's not a tulip. Tulip has the lip that way. I'd have to look. Trumpet. Trumpet skirt? Okay. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'm a little off today. But yeah, I thought that was adorable, so I'm going to send that in. This is a David Bridal. And what size are you? Size 10. And it is this super cute, um, really pretty, like this sateen, um, let's see. Halter, no, not really a halter, um, but in its short style, I have not sent in, I think, very my short style, so I'm definitely going to send this in. It should do well. That's why I like to send all of my formal dresses in there because I get paid out big bucks. All right, <clears throat> this is a collections for La Soute. Um, it's a size 18, and it again has this, sorry guys, my lighting sucks, um, Look at that accordion ruffled um, trumpet skirt, but in a size 18. So I'm going to send that in. Oh, here's another piece where I should go. Oh, so many of the girls really like this. I just got to look and see what the size is. It is a size small. Um, yes, this is an Ann Taylor, but it is an Ann Taylor factory. So because it's a factory, it's not going to bring me as much money. But Ann Taylor usually does very well, gets pulled for a lot of goodie bags, and has very nice payouts. So um, this I might just pull and go, okay, Christmas it is. Can you tell? I, I, I like get away with Christmas for like a steal. <laughs> ah, they can all count their presents and go, Mom only spent $10 on me. No, I'm just teasing. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is a pair of Calvin Klein jeans. Uh, what size are you? Uh, they're uh, size 25, which slash zero. So I guess I'm assuming that's a zero. Um, but it is new with this tag. And I hope that it doesn't fall off when I send it to right up because yes, new with tag, fantastic. And it's going to go, especially since it's Calvin Klein. Okay, I said I was not going to pick this brand up <laughs> again until I had some items of itself. But this one is Tahari Arthur S. Levine, size 10. So I was getting ready to put this black sheath dress, which is like a basic staple in any professional woman's wardrobe, um, when I noticed that it is in the tags for $99. So where do you think? I'm going to send this, yes, to Thread Up, and I hope that it sells. Um, we'll see. All right, this is a really super cute pair of Ann Taylor. Hello, 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 hello. There we go. Loft size six. Now you don't get paid out as much on, on loft, but we'll see. Um, I might. Yeah, I think they're a little too small for my tush these days. Otherwise, I'd take them because they're this really super pretty color. Um, they've got this folded hem, rolled hem, um, just a really kind of cute dress, a uh, pretty pair of pants. So they're so soft. Oh, I'm telling you. All right. I'm almost done, guys. You're doing awesome. I usually do save my favorite or best items for last. You know, I don't know. Every haul is different. Sometimes I have like the most spectacular, amazing piece. And then other times I'm just like, well, it is what it is. <laughs> 
So um, this is a David's Bridal Extra Large, and it is this like bolero um, jacket. New tags. So I am going to, yes, send in this bolero jacket, new tags. All right, um, I, you know what? I also have to tell you guys something. One of my favorite, do I have it right here? I thought I did. Um, favorite things to um, stain treat is, um, it is totally awesome, as seen on TV, found at the 99 cent only store and Dollar Tree, um, pre-wash, laundry pre-wash in a white bottle. I love that stuff. Um, just an FYI, I had a total freak out. I have a daughter that is getting married and she tried on a dress that she had ordered and um, they put clips, she put clips to see if it, how it was going to look, if it was her size. And um, one of the clips must have had something on it and it had a little, so I'm like, she's like, mom, get this out. So the first thing I did was I took my diaper wipe. That didn't work. The next thing I do after I go to my diaper wipe is I go and I spray that onto my diaper wipe and I rub holy crap all right there was a chemical reaction between the material itself and <laughs> that laundry uh pre-wash and it literally turned like this bright purple and our eyes just went like holy crap um anyway i took the other side of the baby wipe and i just kept wiping and it did remove but i've never seen that before so when um you're dealing with like Satines and laces and slip like. I'd be really careful when utilizing that particular item. Okay. It's one of my favorites, but man, I'm telling you, we about had a heart attack. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Some of my best finds this week are probably here at my end. Uh, these will be going in. These are cut from the cloth, size eight for hurry baby boot cut of jeans they are like new ba -ba -ba. so those i'll send in okay and who are you there we go and this is a pair of page size 28 um what are you Skyline Skinny. All right, a uh, pair of jeans, and I'm going to ascend these in because, yes, um, they value them extremely high. And I think I'll get more dollar that way. All right, on to my last item. Da -da -da -da. Right? Oh, no, slide. Two more. All right, here we go. I believe I'm going to try this and send it in. It is, who are you? Poetry. It is a size medium. And it is this um, gauzy boho maxi skirt that's lined to a mini. Um, so it's got that see-through appearance. Uh, elastic waist. I think it'll do very well. It's in nice colors for this fall season. So I believe I'm sending that in and to see how it performs there. All right. And my last item is, da -da -da -da. all right, this is a London Fog, size small, and I think I'm sending it in. I have to do a little bit of cleanup and make sure there's not too much of a disarray with it. I don't think there is. There's just a little, I don't know, right here there's threads, but it's got the drawstring on the inside, so... Um, Yes, it's and it's oh, it's so soft. What are you made of? Anything special? Probably not. Um, warmer upper back face, 100% polyester, nylon polyester. No, insulated. It is insulated. So um, I do plan on sending this particular piece in, um, especially if it if they value it very high. So anyway, that is my uh, Dollar Day haul for this week. If you have any questions or, I don't know, whatever, do me a favor. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Why don't you guys tell me what your favorite piece was this week? Since I really didn't go through and like have one waiting in the wings for it. Like I said, sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's my funkiest item. So whatever. But until next week, guys.